Man of the Honor, General Officers and other distinguished visitors, veterans and service members of the Allied Nations of World War II, and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization of today. Friends of the 101st Airborne Division, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on the sacred ground this afternoon, and thank you for the enduring warm welcome here in France. Carentan is not the only crucible location in the history of my beloved 502nd Infantry Regiment and the 2nd Brigade Combat Team Strike, but also for the entire 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. It is foundational to our legacy of heroism and valor. Carentan is where we gained our first pantheon of heroes, with leaders like Lieutenant Colonel Robert Cole and the bayonet charge of the 3rd Battalion 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment across the causeway. Carentan is where we first learned that vanquishing our enemies in close combat requires highly trained, well-led, disciplined, and fit formations. Carentan is where we first learned the cost of freedom. So we stand here in Carentan today and across Normandy this week in remembrance not only of our past, but mindful of our present. Because it was for places like this and for people like those gathered here today that the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne Division fought and died some 79 years ago. And it is for places like this and for people like those gathered here today that the soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault returned to Europe last summer. Our deployment to NATO's eastern flank was the first time that the 101st Airborne Division had returned to Europe as a fighting formation since World War II. While we did not return to Europe to fight, we were ready to fight. We were ready to fight alongside French Chasseurs in Romania and German Gebirgsjägers in Slovakia. We were ready to fight alongside the rest of our NATO allies and partners spread across that vital frontier of freedom. While we represented just a small contingent of the American Army that returned to Europe, we all knew our mission was to defend the very peace our World War II forefathers worked so hard to secure during the battles we commemorate in Normandy here this week. We were proud to serve again in Europe, and we are proud of our history here in Europe, both past and present. It is a history that only becomes apparent during commemorations like this. We soldiers all know the names of our heroes, say our four colonels of Carentan, Nicholas, Johnson, Sink, Harper. We soldiers all know the ferocious battles along Purple Heart Lane or in the Bloody Gulch. We soldiers all know the names of the proud screaming Eagle World War II veterans and friends we've lost in the past year. Staff Sergeant Tom Rice, 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment, aged 101. Sergeant Dan McBride, 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment, aged 97 and PFC Pee Wee Martin, 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment, aged 101. Yet while we know our history and see names from across the Normandy countryside back at our home base of Fort Campbell, Kentucky every day, they remain just a name until you spend time in a place like this. Back home I live in a neighborhood called Cole Park. We start a morning's physical training session with a run along Hedgerow or Glider Road. We climb aboard our helicopters at Johnson Field, and later disembark deep in the training area to attack Cassidy Village. I'm excited to have our soldiers here today connect these names to these most meaningful places in our shared Carentan history. And I'm excited our soldiers will have a chance to further bond with the people of Carentan. Thank you for remembering our heroes. Thank you for the friendships that span the ages. And thank you for allowing us to join you here today.